Our next speaker is the Vice President for Administration and Finance of the North Luzon Philippines State College in Candon City, Ilocos Sur, Philippines. He has been with the institution since 1999, teaching political science and other social science subjects. He is a published researcher and author, and his studies on the state of Philippine educational system have been presented in national and international conferences. He is a political science alumnus of the University of Makati. He finished his graduate and postgraduate studies in public administration at the University of Northern Philippines, Vigan City, Ilocos Sur. Let's all welcome Dr. Severino G. Alviento. So, good evening to all. Namaskar. So, I prepared a PowerPoint presentation because we were only given 10 minutes to present our talk. According to Narendra Modi, good governance cannot remain merely a philosophy. Concrete steps have to be taken for realizing its goal. UNISCAP defined governance as the process of decision making and the process by which decisions are implemented or not implemented. So ordinarily, when we say good governance, means there is rule of law, transparency, participation, accountability, and sustainability. And bad governance, when there is inefficiency, red tape, maladministration, corruption, and secrecy. In my class, I ask my students to give some sort of evaluation or say something on the extent of observance of good governance based from the indicators shown there uh, to their respective uh, local government units. And this is the result. On rule of law, implementation of ordinances and policies, on indicator number one, we are jumping there. So, magandang performance natin. Uh, Indigenous peoples are really empowered because of this uh, IPRA law and all over the world, I think. Pero yung dalawang indicators yan, uh, they are quite hesitant. They cannot uh, give, perhaps they, they are not aware or they don't know there is a poor evaluation of that, whether there is full public disclosure of transactions and whether there is effective measures against graft and corruption. On transparency, there is no report about accomplishment, uh, no problem with accomplishment reports or uh, documents that is uh, presented to the public. Pero yung pangalawa dyan, uh, medyo alanganin din sila. Perhaps they, they are not aware about that. Dealings of infrastructure projects are open for scrutiny. On participation, uh, walang problema. Uh, officials in the localities are encouraged their constituents to, to talk with them, to have a dialogue with them. They are open. Citizens are open to attend sessions in the Sangonian. And we have re regular parangay assemblies where residents, constituents are encouraged to participate in the discussion about programs, plans, and projects of Barangay Pisal. So there is no problem as to the participation of citizens. On accountability, uh, okay on the law, yeah, except that the, the one that is highlighted, uh, the colored yellow, yeah, hindi sila makapagsabi ng uh, confidently uh, say something about whether assets and liabilities of LG officials are well accounted for. On sustainability, okay naman yan. Uh, uh, according to them, there are measures to protect for the protection of environment, the living conditions of the residents. Uh, merong uh, effective measures to for its sustainability quality. Of course, local government or LGUs are not perfect. In fairness with all, uh, with uh, LGU officials in our province, marami tayong kaibigan. They are, they are hardworking. They are competent. It's just that, uh, of course, we are know that uh, they're not perfect. There are indicators that uh, in, in good governance that uh, they perform well. Pero may mga indicators din na medyo, it needs perhaps uh, a better performance, improved performance. 
now, of course, we are talking about ideal leadership. I just uh, state uh, some point of view of good leadership according to P.R. Sarkar, the profounder of par proud. According to Sarkar, ideal leadership is composed of leaders that they can be recognized by their conduct, beautifulness, and moral integrity. They serve all beings selflessly and lead others along the path of all-round advancement. Maski hindi butante yan, tao, maski interested din sa kanila. And they continuously inspire and encourage the common bonds of unity and thus strengthen humanity. Of course, when we have ideal leaders as uh, enumerated, as mentioned by P.R. Carter, we will have an ideal society also. We cannot have an ideal society, good governance, if we do not have ideal leaders. So a consequence of having a, an ideal leaders, the basic necessities of all shall be guaranteed. That, that is actually the, the root cause of, uh, of crime in the society. Walang makain, walang matirahan. Walang damid. Healthcare is not provided. But of course, education nowadays is free. From primary to even graduate studies, even law. Kung kaya ng utak mo, there are people there who can sponsor you to study law. So there's no problem. And according to Sarkar, the increase in the standard of living of the people is the indication of the vitality of the society. So it should not be stagnant, it should be progressive. And there are two important points in Sarkar's philosophy. Uh, uh, maximum utilization and rational distribution. Maximum utilization, the adequate and sustainable supply of products and services for human consumption by using the most cost-effective and efficient means possible. This includes the use of advanced, eco-friendly technologies for higher productivity in order to maintain a balance between human demand and health, healthy ecosystems. On rational distribution, this is very important. It says there, a healthy economy must provide employment for 100% of the working population so that they can acquire basic goods and services in the marketplace. So yung uh, nakarang slides, the, the people themselves can provide their own basic necessities. If the society, the government will assure, will uh, assure the, or would provide employment for working population. Okay. So we are only given 10 minutes and that's all my slides. And of course, I am willing to answer some questions later in the open forum. Again, Manapunay Abu, thank you so much. Naimbagaradiyo.